chug water Wyoming. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna do what? Uh, go look at the missile alert facility and hopefully not get murdered with the barbed wire. <laughs> Cassandra's convinced that we're getting murdered, not realizing that this is a historic site with a nuclear launch facility. So, I'm actually more concerned that there's not more barbed wire. There's like 10 cars here and there's not a single noise of any human being. We are now exiting survived. the Miniman, now Peacekeeper facility. There are so many people <laughs> coming here. And look, we're, we're not by anything. They just keep lining up the cars in the parking lot. I'm so confused. And what did we do today? Toured a bunker. So we went down 50 feet into a 50 feet. Four, feet, four foot thick concrete capsule yeah. on springs and air shocks. Yeah, there's cars we're going to get hit. <laughs> and uh, was it interesting? Yeah, it was very interesting. I learned that you don't want to be the lowest man on the totem pole because then if there's a nuclear bomb, you have to dig your way out and under sand. So if you open it, you're probably going to get crushed and died. So they already made the who's going to be the second person <laughs> to take your body away and dig out the rest of the way. <laughs> we're also questioning why you would want to dig yourself out after three months in the bunker. <laughs> With no shower and one shared bed. <laughs> We drove from Chugwater, Wyoming and went up to Casper, Wyoming and met James' work friend Amber and her boyfriend and they all went fly fishing. We went over to Alcoa, Wyoming and it's a beautiful day. 70s, sunny, water, didn't have many fish bites for the boys and Amber but uh, it was beautiful out. Sunny, no, no bugs really with the wind. Went for a nice dinner and played with their dogs and cat. And now we are on our way to Sheridan, Wyoming. So we have just passed through KC, Wyoming, which for you fans of the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, or if you did your honors term paper on those two gentlemen <laughs> and remain convinced that they're still alive in Bolivia, um, this is where the Hole in the Wall gang would hide out. Um, so there's an actual geological feature out towards the mountains there. If you were to drive, I think it's probably 45 minutes or so. Um, and then you have to get in a four-wheeler and go from there. Um, but we've just passed through there. And so this is where you start to really see the country change as you come from the plains of southeastern Wyoming. And now we're getting into more uh, hilly country and then you can see the big horns come into view as well. Cooking up some dinner here. What's for dinner, James? The most extensive camping meal known to man. We have burgers with goat cheese, caramelized onions, and arugula with the pig spread on the sesame, sesame seed bun. Just enjoying the beautiful campsite right along a river. at the North Tongue Campground in somewhere Wyoming. We did kayaking on Sylvie Lake yesterday, or I kayaked and James fly fished unsuccessfully unfortunately, but saw lots of fish. Um, yeah, we had a campground that was right against the river here, the Middle Creek, I don't know, not sure. There's, there's like a couple throughout the campsites, but we had a great spot, no neighbors, right by a bathroom. Yeah, can't complain. A little rain, but made for a nice, nice sleep with white noise. This is the Bighorn River, currently uh, overflowing.
Fire starting 101, bushcrafter. <laughs> I think we might be going cold tonight. Today we drove over the Bighorns into Bozeman where we walked around Main Street to get a good lunch. Then came up here to our campsite, which is along a creek that goes by various names. Except so and I fished for a bit. A little bit tough with the water being up higher, but got a couple fish. Managed to have one wrap around my ankles in the course of trying to get him unwrapped from my ankles. Wrapped myself in a tree with the other end of the pole with the rod. And then um, lost him. Fortunately, he did the long distance release at that point. I think potentially after I stepped on him, it's not clear what happened. <laughs> uh, and then we made s'mores after another person helped us uh, with some heat to help get the fire going since we can't do it on our own. Thanks. Jenny Lake in Grand Teton Park. Uh -huh. And so we've walked from somewhere over there. We made the loop around the lake here. <laughs> 